Hey everybody. Today we're going to talk a little bit about my deep sand bed tank, which you can see here to my right. I know the tank directly behind me is a lot more vibrant and colorful, but this tank is a lot more interesting to me right now because I've definitely achieved denitrification, but I don't know how. I'm not really sure what's going on, but I definitely have denitrification. I've been doing a series of water changes on this tank and I've been monitoring the nitrate level each time I do it. And every time I do it, I always have higher nitrates after my water change. I'm using water directly from my well. I'm not using it through my um, water system that removes the nitrates and everything. So I'm using my groundwater, which has a little bit of mineralization to it, which is why I use it and it also has nitrate in it it usually has somewhere around 20 parts per million right now this time of year uh, it's probably sitting a little lower than that but this tank always sits near zero it's always under five or ten parts per million and so when i do a water change i'm actually doing a water change with more nitrate in the new water going in so after the water change i check the nitrate level it's higher than it was before the water change. And then the tank continues to function for two or three weeks before I do another water change. And during that time, there's fish living in there. I'm feeding the tank. They're, by all rights, it should be increasing the level of nitrate. The nitrate has nowhere to go. It doesn't evaporate out of the tank. In fact, I actually do top-offs on this tank fairly regularly because it's a warm tank. It's open top, and it actually sits directly in front of where the uh, I have a circulation fan that keeps the air moving around this room, keeps it from getting way too you know humid and stuffy in here. Um, so. It, it evaporates a lot of water and I top it off probably once or twice a week at least and I use my groundwater which again I'm adding nitrate to it when I do my top offs and yet when I do a water change it has less nitrate in it than when I started a couple of weeks prior and it's done this consistently now every single time I check the nitrate in this every experiment I've done with it the only time I didn't get a real positive reduction in nitrate was when I did a test where I just put a lot of nitrate artificially in the tank uh, really high levels and I gave it a week and while the nitrate didn't really come down it kind of looked like it might have come down a little bit but it definitely didn't go up and yet here we are, I'm still doing water change after water change and I've got less nitrate than when I started. And I just don't know how to explain that other than the deep sand bed. In theory, if you get a denitrification denitrif cycle going, you will have bacteria that lives deep down in the substrate and it actually does sort of the reverse of what your standard basic nitrogen cycle does. It starts with the nitrate and breaks that down into nitrogen gas and then a few other uh, miscellaneous hydrogen sulfide and stuff like that. But mostly it just gets broken down into nitrogen gas and just gets removed from your tank. And that's where the nitrate just vanishes out of your tank. It gets dealt with by this secondary bacteria that lives in very, very deep substrate, anaerobic conditions, etc. I've set the tank up to do that and I should be happy about it doing that because that's exactly what I intended to do. I just don't know how it's doing it so soon. I literally just put fish in this tank less than two months ago. I went up and checked um, the videos on this tank and the first fish that went in this tank went in there on August 6th and it's now uh, only October, I think, 3rd. So it's been two months since fish went in here. I had, you know, I'd established a cycle before I put the fish in. I was using ammonium chloride. I was, you know, keeping the cycle going and everything. So I had a well-established cycle when I put the fish in there, but that was just the basic nitrogen cycle that we all know that you basically have to have to run any kind of aquarium. The, the, the first part of the nitrogen cycle that actually removes the ammonia and turns it into nitrate, that was established two months ago. I put fish in there and I've already, this is not the first day I've done this. I, I'm now shooting this video because I've confirmed water change after water change after water change. I have less nitrate than when I started. So how is that happening so quickly? 
it should take minimum of six months to establish denitrification if you're going to really do the deep sand bed a lot of people say it doesn't work unless you've got layers a lot of people say it doesn't work unless you've got plants that are in there and the roots are in there doing stuff um, in my opinion if you've got roots that are in there it's the roots that are drawing the nitrate out not a denitrification cycle that's not the same thing the end result may be that you don't have any nitrate in your aquarium but it's not the same mechanism that's removing them and this tank doesn't have any plants in it for all intents and purposes it has a really small anubius in it but anubius grows about it makes your fingernails look like they grow fast so it's not sucking nutrients out of the tank that anubius is doing nothing to reduce the nitrate in the tank it doesn't have a lot of algae and again algae doesn't have an impact you know visibly on your nitrate it does use nitrate but in my experience i've had some algae filled tanks that were still full of nitrate it doesn't just magic the nitrate away there's just no way to explain it there's no reason that nitrate should just be leaving that tank other than the denitrification process. But again, how in the world did I possibly get this established in a matter almost of weeks? If I only put fish in there two months ago and, and I'm doing water changes every several weeks, we're talking, you know, almost immediately after fish went in there, I was having the denitrification process going on. Now I will say I used um, a planted substrate. It's um, Eco Complete. Uh, I really like it. It's in most of my tanks. It's a black substrate. It's sand and a porous sort of gravel that's mixed together. And it's really good stuff. It's really designed for biofiltration. And it's supposed to come with live bacteria. And it's a sealed bag. It's filled with liquid. Um, and, it, and it's supposed to be ready to go. You put it in your tank and your tank is supposed to be functional at that point. Would that have denitrifying bacteria established in it already, or would that just come with the nitrobacter and the, um, the other one? I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, but we have two main bacteria that are the basic nitrogen cycle that take the ammonia and reduce it to nitrate. That's what I assumed came, you know, this live substrate that I bought. I assumed the live culture that was in there was just the nitrosomonas, that's the one I couldn't think of, nitrosomonas and the nitrobacter were the only two that were in there. Did it come already sort of preloaded with denitrifying bacteria? Because it would sure seem that way. I mean, literally almost immediately, I'm getting no nitrate development in this tank and it just baffles me. I don't know why I'm getting, I'm actually getting less nitrate. It's reducing the amount of nitrate in the tank. It's not even just sitting still or where it is. It's actually coming down between water changes. And I add nitrates, I deliberately use water. If I use my tap water that has the nitrate removed from it, this would probably reduce to zero nitrate. In fact, maybe I'll try that on my next water change. I'll start topping it off with my treated water that has no nitrate in it and see if we don't just get a complete reduction down to nothing, uh, as opposed to me adding nitrate during every water change and yet it still comes down by the next water change again i'd be interested to hear your thoughts uh, some people have claimed it's the woodwork in this tank that's decomposing i've set up a little basic experiment in another tank i put a big piece of wood in an otherwise more or less empty tank and we'll see if the nitrates don't magically start coming down i'd put my money on no they won't i don't think that that wood's going to do squat diddly to our nitrate levels but it's been suggested so i'll give it a shot i'll see what happens because again the only thing i can explain it by is saying that 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 bacteria was preloaded in the in the substrate i put in there so that eco complete stuff is better than i ever thought if that's the case if you really can just lay a deep layer of that in there and again this isn't special layers this is just bags a couple bags of eco complete dumped in the tank i didn't do multiple strata it's not capped off with anything there's no roots down into it it's just five inches of eco complete and that's it and immediately i'm getting denitrification so let me hear your thoughts about that. I'd be interested to see what you have to say. Have you had similar experiences? I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on the denitrification process. So make sure you're subscribed. I will be talking more about this. We're gonna be doing some more experiments. I already told you about the one. Uh, I've got wood in one tank. I got another tank that I've set up in the other room that has no anything other than deep sand. It's not even special sand or anything. It's just river gravel. And we're gonna see if I can establish a deep um, you know, sand bed and denitrification with just basic river gravel 
and nothing else. So that'll be uh, interesting too. But again, I'm expecting that to take months and months and months for it to play out, not virtually instantaneously like this tank did. So again, let me hear your thoughts. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know the routine by now. That stuff really does help too, by the way. It's not just something people say at the end of their videos. It really does help us when, when we, you know, you, you, you're active on the channel like that. That uh, gets our video out there to a lot more people. The algorithm, as they say, likes that. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.